ladies and gentlemen, segment number two for this week, week 13. Yes. All right. I'm glad I know what week we're in. Week 13. Lucky 13. Yeah. Look, we've made it to 13 without Woo-hoo. killing each other. Hey, but we're getting close. <sighs> yeah. Ah. And this is the indie question ah. segment. Hey. Indies. Uh, yeah. So indies. I asked a uh, question. Uh, what, or no, who is your favorite travel buddy? Oh, or what? We know, like, yeah, or, or what? what? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Harry Saturn had Moppy. Yeah. You know, we have, uh, you know, we know that a lot Travel of indie been. wrestling relies on traveling to right. where you're booked. You know, mm-hmm. a large part of your career is going to who pays you, you know? Yeah. You have to travel for your work. I figure, you know, a lot of wrestlers going to the same shows might pair up, carpool, whatever reasons they yeah. have. And, it, and it's not WWE, so you know they're not getting flown everywhere. They have yeah. to, you know, they're, they're usually doing the carpool thing, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, first off, the Spirit Dragon, Shinron, says, Ophidian, Hell Black yeah. Baron, or Jonathan Gresham? I don't know Black Baron. Do I? I don't know Black Probably Baron. Probably not, I don't no. know. No, but Ophidian and Jonathan Gresham I do know very well, and they are two of my favorites. Uh, Darren Corbin who answers every week. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Mr. Corbin. Uh, says, Horace the Psychopath or Eric Cannon? Those are, like, two of his most prominent on-and-off partners slash rivals. Eric Cannon, ACDC. Yeah. Uh, Bryce Remsburg says, uh, Zia Hitley, who is one of the indie photographers over on the East Coast. Oh, okay. Uh, that makes sense. He's a, he's a pretty big time, like, he's not just exclusive to Chikara. Yeah. Like, he, he, he referees all over anywhere he wants. Uh, Billy Rock, the most polite man of professional yeah. wrestling. How uh, many answers does he have this week? Uh, two. Oh, okay. But it's from the same era. Okay. Uh, he used to travel a lot with Chuck Taylor and Ricochet. Oh. Chuck okay. Taylor and Ricochet kind of broke into the business together at the same time. Nice. Uh, Billy Rock did a lot of traveling with them. Uh, oh, lastly, I we had... I see that being a fun... Yeah, couple right? Of guys to travel with. Chuck Taylor... Is hilarious. I can only imagine what it's like traveling <laughs> with Chuck Taylor in any way, shape, or form. He's probably... He, I feel like he's a prankster. Yeah. I feel like he does I'm, some stupid I'm shit. Sure. I, I feel more like he's too lazy to prank. <laughs> Just imagine him running... Like, I feel like he's the guy who's like, it was like, oh, let's do a prank, and he'll go, okay, I'll record it. He like... I, I just He's the guy who, if you go to sleep first, he'll wake up and he'll be like, here's what I thought about doing. <laughs> he, like, runs in, runs into, like, someone else's room that he knows is staying in a hotel. He's, like, bursts through the door. I've got a grenade! <laughs> <laughs> so who else, uh, who else answer your questions? Dasher Hatfield. Hey, the old time King of Swing. Half of the throwbacks. Who are the current? Campion Cam- has... Campion... Not a, Campion is the Campion is the Campion is the Campion is the Spanish words! Uh, tag team champions of Chikara. Yeah. Uh, said his favorite travel buddy. Anybody not Tim Donst? <laughs> <laughs> There's no better answer. What did like? He did not elaborate. Okay. <laughs> I didn't ask him to. <laughs> you should. Have. I should have. Like, they, well, no. It, maybe maybe he does I, have. I personal, kind of self-explanatory. Though. Maybe he does have a personal yeah. issue with Tim Donst. Speaking of which, uh, congratulations to Tim Donst, who earlier this week won the AIW World Heavyweight Championship. Woo uh, And also Eddie Kingston earlier this week won the uh-huh. AAW Championship. Yes, I did, I did see that. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, Chikara Ch- 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 guys. guys winning titles in other places. Uh, see, so yeah, that wraps up the indie question of the week, and I'm going to move on to King of Trios. That thing. My this third is King of Trios report. Big one. Oh yeah, it is. That's what they call it. This is the big one. See, uh, is that what they call? Well, yeah, the Chikara is the King of Trios. This is the big one, uh, which this year is titled the Big One is back. Nice. Uh, Damn right it is. So, we finally have all eight of the first round matches have been announced. Awesome. Uh, we're gonna have uh, in the first match Team UK versus the Block Party. Very nice. So we have uh, yeah, Clash of European Nations. Um, and then second match, we're gonna have Night Eye for the Pirate Guy with Princess Kimberly taking on the the Gekido team. Woo. Uh, match three, we're gonna have the Flood, Kingston, Jacobs, and uh, Vulgar 
against the Spectral Envoy, the last reigning King of Tritos. That's going to be an interesting match. Uh, and then I'm kind of interested to see what happens between Team Extravaganza in match four, which is Marion Fontaine, Jeff Scott, and Belly and Thunder Kitty, when they take on, collectively, they're probably the smallest team, I'm thinking, uh, weight-wise, going against the biggest team. Because they're facing oh, the Devastation Corporation. Uh, <laughs> bad stuff's going to happen in that match. Uh, and then when you start the second half of the tournament, we're going to have the BDK with Dr. Q taking on 3 Pack O. Very nice. Uh, the Colony is going to battle longtime rivals Colony Extreme Force. Yeah, seems fitting. Uh, the Golden Trio, Icarus and the Throwbacks, are going to go against LAX. Chavo Guerrero, Homicide, and Hernandez. I think that may be the match I'm looking forward to the most. And then in the final match of the first round, we're going to have the Spirit Squad facing Kazarni and his Auditorium. Hmm. That's, a, that's an interesting first round we got there. Yeah. Well, it's... I mean, you know, you got the Auditorium. That's where you got to put the cheerleaders. <laughs> They call it the pep rally match. <laughs> oh, that was funny. I like puns. All right. Um, well played, sir. But then we're going to move on to night two. Oh, shit. Saturday night. There's three nights to King of Trios. Uh, so like we announced last play. week, the Raid of Voladores has been announced that it yes. will happen. They've been announcing participants for the Raid of Voladores four-way eliminators. Uh, in match number one, we're going to have the Spirit Dragon Shinron. Oh, yeah. Uh, Rich Swan. Uh, Tigre Uno from TNA. Hell yeah. And um, Chuck Taylor was announced on the Chikara Facebook page, but has yet to be confirmed on the Chikara website. Interesting. So Chuck the, Taylor hacked the Facebook page. It could be. And he was just like and stole Chikara's nudes. But if he does, <laughs> if he does enter uh, Rey de Voladores this time, he's going to be the first person to try and attempt to win Rey de Voladores twice. Very nice. Uh, then they announced the first participant for the second four-way eliminator, which is former TNA X Division champion Sonata. Yeah. Uh, th yeah, they're bringing out a lot of TNA guys for this, yeah, which I think is really cool because the TNA guys need something. Yeah, well, I think what TNA is... I mean, they've kind of always been lax with let their guys go out and wrestle wherever they want. Yeah, true. I think they're doing that more so now because they're in such a, like... Limbo land. Yeah. Yeah. So they're well, trying... You know, and earlier this year, there was the issues where Bully Ray was supposed to be on Tommy Dreamer's House of Hardcore, and uh, Dixie actually pulled him. Yeah. And then that created a whole storyline in TNA. But yeah, I, I, I guess... I guess now they kind of have no other choice. Right. Because, I, you know, well, my theory is... And I mean, yeah, TNA is the second base company, so... Not like they need name Spoiler recognition, wise. but but they're trying to get like more eyes on their superstars, so yeah. they're putting them out to all these other wrestling shows to maybe hook guys who aren't into TNA who aren't really, you know, it's more so the guys are scouting where they're gonna wrestle in TNA folds. <laughs> Probably, but you know that's my theory that they want to get more eyes on TNA by putting them in as many different wrestling shows as possible. Yeah, makes sense. Great move. Uh. And then beyond the two Rayday Bulladores Eliminator matches, we're going to have the four quarterfinals King of Trio matches. Aha! Uh, and then we're going to have two singles matches. We're going to have the Battle of the Bow Ties. Uh, one of the guys who's quickly making it up the ranks of Chikara as top heel, Juan Francisco de Coronado, is going to be taking on TNA superstar Rockstar Spud. Another TNA. I, I don't think I've actually got to see Rockstar Spud do anything other than look like a pussy on impact. <laughs> um so it'll be nice to actually like I see think him Rockstar Spud's pretty hilarious on the mic. He he's getting so like the few times I've seen him in TNA, he is so over. Yeah, um he's Which hilarious on the mic he I, him. I saw this little highlight video package that Wrestling Talk T V did on him. Um and it got me really curious about him because, you know, he's talking about how, you know, he's a small guy and no one ever really gave him the chance, but he took all of that going against him and made it his strength. 
That's what a lot of small guys seem to do. Yeah. Um, You're too small, you can't do it? Oh yeah, fuck you. So, I mean, I haven't, me. I haven't seen him, but there's some hype around him, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So. And uh, the one that a lot of people are getting a lot excited about. Uh, smooth sailing Ashley Remington is going to be taking on former WWE superstar Yoshitatsu. Yoshitatsu's getting to do something. Yeah. You know what? This kind of just made me think. Uh, I don't know. Well, yeah, he should be able to. What if one of the Red Evaladorius competitors is fucking Ricardo Rodriguez? That'd be fun. That would be awesome. It would be weird if one of them was fucking Well, the, you, if it was a woman, though. You don't know what, if yeah, if it's a woman, you know. Yeah, I mean, right. but if it's a dude, you no, know what Ricardo Rodriguez. I mean, it's on. it's fine. I just think it'd be weird if they were doing that because it's a family show. I don't think they're gonna be doing it in the match. Okay. I'm just saying, one of them is <laughs> literal motherfucker. But he literally, literally fucks, fucks mothers. mothers. All right, so that exciting news. I mean, they're bringing in Tigre Uno, uh, Sonata, yeah, Rockstar lot, Spud, Yoshitatsu. A lot of new guys that haven't, like, Here's haven't the thing, seen is, run with the, t- with the charge. Initially, uh, and there's a lot of smack talk going on about King of Trios, because initially they were like, okay, how come you're not bringing in all these outside guys? And then they announced LAX, and then they announced they're going to bring in uh, Tigre Uno, Rich Swan. Uh, Sonata. Sonata. Now they're bringing in Yoshitatsu and Rockstar Spud. You're welcome. There you go. You get your wish. Uh, night three, we're going to see the culmination of both tournaments. Uh, the King of Trios semifinals to open the show. Uh, then you're going to have the Rey de Voladores finals. Whoever wins the two Eliminator matches, they're going to go one on one. The submission squad has been confirmed to appear. They're going to be in an eight person tag team match. Opponents yet to be announced. Mm. Uh, there's another non-tournament match yet to be announced, and then we're going to top everything off. Oh, wait, the Tag Team Gauntlet of yes. the year. The Tag Team Gauntlet. I love gauntlet back. matches. It's back. Yep. They're doing it again. So sad. Uh, I love gauntlet I matches my... that are actually gauntlet matches and not just like, we're going to make this one guy wrestle a bunch of guys tell you who's this. Yeah. 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 Like, when it's an actual gauntlet match, though, that's When it's sad. like, hey, okay, that guy lost, okay, bring another guy in and just... Yeah. Uh, here, here's where uh, a couple of the Chikara regulars that we haven't seen announced yet could end up ha- having their chance to make an impact. Such as? The King of Trios. Osirian Portal and the Batiri. Ooh. Oh, f- yeah! Yeah, yeah! <laughs> where are the Osirian Portal and King of Trios? Little of the guy is here, apparently. Oh, uh, yeah, and they already put Shimmer on him. Uh, the Volador has eliminated himself. Oh, uh, put a fitty on He'd be another uh, former winner trying to do it yeah. twice. Um, that was that was actually like really when I really decided that I liked Ophidian when I was watching him in Red Devil Wars. I decided I liked Ophidian when he hypnotized like the entire locker room. That league. is a pretty awesome move. Uh, but yeah, uh, there's gonna be that none other that other uh, non tournament match, the Gauntlet. Uh, which I mean, did you see any of the teams that got eliminated? In the prior yeah, rounds, should, they too, come back. you know, any two out of three of the Devastation Corporation, two out of three of the Colony, the Extreme Force, Keto, Pieces of Hate, Flood members, uh, the, I guess Starbucks wouldn't be in it this year because they're the tag team champions. Um, uh, the Return of Demolition. Yeah, can we please see the Return <laughs> of Demolition. I, Demolition. It's happened. Demolition has yeah. been in the tag team call it three times, two, two times now. Let's yeah. make it three. Yeah, let's do uh, it. Bring back the Young Bucks. Fuck they, they've yeah. been around, the Bravado Brothers. Uh, which the Young Bucks actually, I guess, just recently had a really bust ass tag team title match against uh, the Briscoes in Ring of Honor. Yeah. Wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, I heard about that. Uh, and good. then everything gets wrapped up with the King of Trios finals match. Which always delivers, because you've got these two teams that have busted their way through two days. You know, multiple matches. Yeah, you gotta think, it'll be their fourth time wrestling over three days. So it's exhausting. Yeah. Uh, overall, I think it's gonna be a super exciting weekend. Oh, yeah. All those people who were complaining about uh, not pulling more out-of-promotion trios will just have to settle for more out-of-promotion guys in other matches. Which I think is even better. Yeah. You know, I, I, don't, I, don't, know if we, I don't know if we talked about... I might have mentioned this last week, but I think more Chikara guys... 
in King of Trios makes for a wider spread of who could possibly win King of Trios. Yeah. And the Rey de Voladores isn't always necessarily a Chikara guy that wins, and it doesn't have to be a Chikara guy that wins because it's just, it's a tournament. You know, there's there's nothing, it's not a, it's, you know, it's not like something that's defended or or is, is brought back and defended anywhere in Chikara. It's not something that's mentioned consistently. So you have all these other outside talent that can win that and bring a whole new variety of action to that specific tournament. I think it's awesome. Uh, so who knows? I mean, there's still three guys in the second Eliminator match that need to be announced. Yeah. Uh, perhaps one in the fourth match if they don't confirm Chuck Taylor. Uh, yeah, I, I th- I, that'll be interesting to see whether or not he, he shows um, up. And then none of the teams in the Tag Team Gauntlet have been announced. There's still that other match in Night 3. So there's still a lot of mystery up in the air, which means I will be doing a separate King of Trios report Thursday night. That's one night before the whole weekend starts. Uh, recapping all of this good stuff. Oh, yeah. And all the other things that are revealed between now and then. Very nice. The militia. I forgot about those guys. All the new kids. Kid Cyclone. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, we, we do a uh, Kid Cyclone... Uh, Challenge, Challenge to Celian. Yeah. So we may see something come out of that. Which somebody posted on uh, Facebook earlier today. I don't remember who it was, but they were, they posted it on the I Am Chikara fan page mm-hmm. uh, that Kid Cyclone was supposed to be appearing at another indie event in Philadelphia, uh, didn't show up, and no one was able to get a hold of him. this have something to do with the flood? If you've seen Kid Cyclone recently, contact Chikara somehow and let them know. Yeah. Because he challenged a salient and all of a sudden you can't find him? That's, not a, that that's not a good thing. Salient's a guy who doesn't take his competition lightly. Yeah. And yeah, if, yeah. Kid Cyclone could. Uh, Vengeance for Cobalt. Apathy for Deviant. Free Snow Troll. Please help Cyclone. <laughs> yeah, if he's there. <laughs> if he's not dead yet. If he's not, it was nice uh, knowing you for never. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that, that wraps up the uh, whole indie question of the week and King of Trios report. Very cool. Well, yeah, King of Trios is coming up. We're, this is going to be a fun weekend. I'm it, excited. It always yeah. is. Lots of good stuff. Not planned. to mention, if you're over in that area, the Fan Conclave, which I think starts before night two... Is their yearly interactive event? It's, it's their you WrestleMania do, access kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, uh, there's generally like Pokemon card battles with Ophidian and uh, karaoke. We're going to King of Trios next year. I want to play Pokemon with Ophidian. Uh, karaoke with this Ultraman is amazing. Black. Ophidian yeah. just became my favorite wrestler. Yeah, he Ultraman. probably uses like Ekans and Arbok. Probably, and that's okay because I don't like using grass. Uh, yeah, generally Gavin. Uh, I'm a and- nerd. And all the other snake Pokemon. Uh, Ultraman is Black usually hosts karaoke. Uh, that is so cool. A lot of autograph signings. Uh, God, we're going. We're going next year. WWE, we're trying to convince you to go this year. We're, we're, we're trying to go to Mania. Yeah, that's true. WWE, you should take notes. Like this is how you do a do bad this. this. Well, I don't. I, I don't know. I'm. I'm. I'm excited to potentially go to WrestleMania, but. Definitely, I'm just I saying, want like, to go uh, to King of Trios. To do a fan access event, like this is how you do it. Yeah. Instead of just like, oh yeah, you can have the autographs there, or you can play in this yeah, ball pit. Yeah, but WWE pit. fans are fucking weird. It does sound real. Okay, don't get me wrong. Fan access WWE sounds fucking fun as hell. But this sounds more fun, is the thing. The, uh, and the, it, I'm sure it is, because you're actually getting to interact with yeah. those wrestlers. But WWE's on such a wider scale, right. they have a lot of no. really weird fans that... Half of the WWE roster would probably get killed if they did this for fan access. Eh, maybe. But, I don't know. Have I'm excited for King of Trios. Uh, I'm excited to hopefully go to King of Trios next year. But, as Kevin Ock said, that's it for the indie segment this week. If you want to move on, we're going to be going to the midweek wrap-up. If you want to go back to the Raw review, you can skip forward to the Fantasy Warfare or the SmackDown Rundown, click into the annotations, and we will see you at the midweek wrap-up.
You'll see us there. We won't see you. 